Hi, Humans here, and welcome to this video from Fast Tech Skills series. In this particular video, we're going to talk about CMS, what is it, and why you should consider using it instead of building everything from scratch. Well, these days everyone talks about different CMS platforms and basically a CMS is a content management system. What does that mean? Let's say that you want to start a blog or just a website that you want to use to showcase your products, your services. One way to go about it is of course building everything from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, building the database, building all the administration kind of interfaces so you can log in and update the information on your website. And of course, it's obvious why we need an admin panel because random users and visitors wouldn't be able to mess with the data on the website and they change it. So that's one reason that you need an admin platform so only authorized people can go ahead and edit it. And another reason would be, of course, you can set up a website if you are a software engineer or a web developer, but that website wouldn't be really easy to use to the general public. So if you're building for someone who is not familiar with technology as you are, you better use a proven CMS because a content management system provides all the tools to manage users, to manage content, to apply beautiful layouts, beautiful ready layouts to your websites or web applications to some point. There are CMS platforms out there designed for web applications and there are content management systems available for general website or web blog usage. Some of the famous CMSs out there which you might have already heard of uh, could be WordPress is one of them. So this is a very powerful content management system. In terms of um, structure, it's a little bit messy. It's not uh, following the modern architectures of the web, but it's been kept updated and there are plenty of plugins. That's something very important about uh, WordPress and that is you can find plugins for basically anything. You can, if you want to add social features to your blog or your website, you can find plugins to do that for you. If you want to capture leads, there are plugins to do that as well. And of course, there are plugins to build membership areas for your users. And another powerful side of WordPress is that it has so many themes out there. If you want to change the look of your website or web blog, you just go ahead, do a Google search, you would find plenty, maybe even uh, tens of thousands of different themes out there, of course free and paid, but as long as the option is there, you would be able to use them. So another advantage of um, WordPress is the theme side of it and the ability to change the look of it with the least amount of effort and energy. And of course open source is and of course, WordPress is an open source platform, meaning you can do your own modifications or you can hire someone to do the modifications for you and make it work the way you want it to work. Another example of a content management system would be Tumblr. And basically what Tumblr is, it's a content management system combined with social media and uh, basically building your web blog on a platform which has deep integrated social capabilities. Of course, Tumblr can have its own themes as well, but in terms of uh, plugins, it's not as advanced as WordPress. And of course, it's not open source, meaning you can't change the functionality of it. But one good thing about it is that it gets lots of traffic. So it has the people's attention now, and whatever you put out there, uh, you get a higher chance of getting exposure rather than if you self-host your own WordPress-based website or web blog, then you need to start generating traffic for it. But if you do a good job at building a Tumblr blog, then uh, basically you get traffic and you get the social side of things uh, kind of integrated with your own web blog. And consider that Tumblr is used mostly for blogs 
rather than websites. If you're building a website, you might as well go with WordPress because of the freedom and because of flexibility that WordPress brings with itself. And of course, there is a new type of uh, content management systems which is not using a database. So WordPress, when you install it on your own uh, server, uh, so-called self-hosted, you need to set up a database and it stores all the information, all the blog posts, user information into a database. There is a new kind of content management system and it's database-less. So uh, Stacy is one of them. If I get the spelling right, you can just Google it and uh, you don't need any database to uh, work with this um, content management system, which makes it very portable. You can just copy it from a directory on your website and paste it on a different directory on a different domain. So that's a new kind of content management system coming into play, basically taking away the need of a database. It uses text files instead of uh, having a database in place. So that's a very quick explanation on what a content management system is. It's very efficient and of course if you're starting out you better use a proven content management system, preferably WordPress because it has majority of the plugins and themes as I mentioned. Thanks for watching, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I know there are people out there interested in my material resulting in me making more videos for you and I'll see you in the next videos. Thanks for watching, bye.